What up, everybody? Welcome to the show. This right here is another Gray Zone Warfare video. Check it. They just released a tweet and they're touching on a few things that we did not know. They're talking about early access and beyond. So early access is supposed to be just basically a contribution in the, in the development of uh, Gray Zone Warfare. It's a long term project, guys. It's not going to be finished at all when, when they launch it. So understand that it's going to be in early access for a little a little while. They said we're going to release regular updates featuring new content. It's expanding world building, adding new weapons and gear unveiling new quests and environmental storytelling, as well as optimizing and fixing bugs, of, of course. The approximate timeline may span several years, depending on the community feedback and the fulfillment of our shared vision. I love that. That's awesome. So another thing they talked about is, uh, how is the full version planned to differ from early access? The full version is going to expect an immersive tactical FPS sandbox where you must fully adapt to your surroundings and utilize tactics to your advantage. Kind of vague, but we don't know how the full version is going to look. You know, they're going to obviously have feedback and their visions may change. So I understand. Here's the planned state of details in the full release. Okay, I'm going to read them off to you. A complete map featuring all locations and diverse biomes, a hazardous, so that's what I'm saying, the map's not even gonna be complete, maybe, uh, in early access. A hazardous ground zero area with end game enemies and new storylines that you can access. Different types of AI behaviors based on enemy type, situation, time, or weather condition. That's awesome. Faction-based AI with its own agenda involving quests, patrolling, scavenging, and attacking others. Factions featuring progression systems and diverse reputations. I, I bet that has to do with their certification system. Immersive environmental storytelling featuring mature and engaging plots. We've seen that. Advanced quest systems en encompassing both main and side quests, so side stories. Game-changing, captivating seasonal events. Resource-intensive and survival-focused crafting. So we got crafting boys, dynamic weather changing and gameplay experience and accelerated day or night cycle. That's good. It doesn't need to be night the whole time, right? Unique skill system based on a player's achievements, not the grind. I love that. So again, that's, you know, their achievements, the certification, not, you know, leveling everything and trying to, you know, max out everything. It's kind of going to be how you play. So this one's cool. Customizable hooch players base quarters at your fob. There's going to be some type of little housing area, maybe where you can customize your room or whatever. That's fucking awesome. Enhanced weapon customizations, fully customizable gear, complex trading system for players. So here's what's on the current state of the early access version that we can that we're still going to be likely playing before April 1st. Three distinct factions supporting up to 48 players in total, maximum 16 players per faction. 42 square kilometer open world island. We already kind of knew that. Ruthless AI behavior. Hundreds of enemies reacting to players' moves through their actions and emotions. That's a big one. Complex external and terminal ballistic simulation for a realistic shooting experience. Comprehensive simulation of realistic firearm recoil based on real world data. That's coming with the dev blog. I bet the, the ballistics video that Rick kind of touched on at Loot Fest. So huge. That's going to be insane. An innovative health system. This is cool right here. An innovative health system that intricately simulates even bodily cavities and damaged effects like from bullets, right? Or blunt force traumas. Insane. A network of six unique vendors offering 150 total quests. Eight highly customizable weapons with over 400 interchangeable parts. So we got eight weapons. Uh, that kind of bums me out. Only eight, but they're going to add more. We've already known that. So... A diverse array of over 80 equipable gear items for tactical advantage. So 80 pieces of gear. An engaging interconnected player progression system. Detailed character creation and extensive apparel customization options. Ooh. The drip. Formidable squads allowing up to four members of coordinated gameplay. We knew that. Integrated social features including friends, VoIP, and messenger for enhanced player interaction. I'm going to be doing another video, guys, breaking down Gecko's interview with Rick um, where he touched on that a little bit more. So this is cool. The early access price is going to be lower than the final release price. That's interesting. So the community members are going to, you know, be looking for feedback, comments, suggestions in the discord, things like that. Early access members, you're going to have unique opportunity to help us build an excellent foundation for what we envision as a long lasting, immersive tactical FPS experience. So yeah, and that just goes on to, uh, to show to, to tell you all to wish list and everything like that. So, man, that's intense stuff. That's all I wanted to break down, guys. I'm not going to go into it too much. So that's it, guys. Yeah, join the collective. If you have any questions, um, you know, comments, whatever, drop them. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Turn on the notifications because anytime we get news I can put out, I will do it. But that's it, guys. I'll catch you all on the next video. Thank you.